Welcome. In this video, I want to show you how you can apply to Guru University online. I, uh, in previous videos, I showed you how you can apply to MOOC, MUST, Chambogo. Yes, and today we are going to see how we can apply to Guru University. Yeah, for academic year 2021-2022. So, let's go in and see how to apply. your browser uh, on your phone or computer and enter this URL uh, apply.gu.sc.ug uh, apply.gu.sc.ug it will open from this uh, page this interface as you are seeing it here yes yeah if you are a new applicant you just come here and register yes if you want to Know about uh, if you want to know more about applying, you can go on here on how to apply. Yes, but if you have already if you already registered, you just log in with email or phone number. Yeah. So uh, today we are going to register as new uh, new user of this system. So it in the next page once you click on uh, register now. Excuse me. It takes you to uh, this page where it says create your account. Here you enter your name. You enter your first name. Uh, you enter your first name. other name if you have then you enter your email make sure the email is correct yeah because uh, they send their code a password and a username yes both on phone on your phone and via the email so make sure you enter a valid email Yes, say you enter your phone number, make sure it's a correct phone number because they still they will send their password or a password and a username. Then here you choose gender and click register. Now it is showing me successful to asking me to register. So now let me check my phone to see if the password has already come. Yes, the password has already come. So I want to log in using my phone number, not email. So the password is here. They have sent a message on my phone. So that's how the system works. Yes, if you don't have the phone around with you, you can check your email. Yes, because the message is sent both to email and to your phone number that you registered. Uh, 
after entering the password just click sign in so as you can see in the next uh, uh, page it is telling me to change remember they have sent you a default password so now you need to change it to your own password let me change it to my own password someone may ask why or that process yeah for security reasons yes for security reasons because remember here you upload your academic documents yes and credentials so it's worse to be protected yeah so we never know scammers may want to use them for some reasons yeah so now as you can see uh, once you enter the new password once you create a password to take you to a page with running schemes as you can see there is a running scheme for higher education access certificate academic year 2021-2022 intake august category undergraduate then another scheme is direct entry for o and a levels academic year 2021-2022 intake august undergraduate Next scheme is graduate entry, which is postgraduate. Another one is for diploma, uh, for undergraduate, mature entry, PhD, uh, postgraduate, mature mature age undergraduate. Yes. So uh, basically, that is it. So now, uh, let me apply as um, let me apply as. Uh, let me apply as a undergraduate yes let me apply as an undergraduate on direct entry for Oliver and Erevo academic this one so let me apply it as undergraduate click on apply so it bring you the list of courses uh, four choices not courses four choices so you have to choose from this Yes, you have to choose one you select on click on uh, first choice then you click on the course that you want to make uh, your first choice yes they have campuses in Hoima a main campus Kitigum yes so let's say I'm applying for maybe Bachelor of Arts Education uh, but I want it Bachelor of Arts Education I want it at the main campus it's here Bachelor of Arts, main education, main campus. Then what you do, you come here and click add course. Here, uh, entry here, it is year one, sponsor private. Then you click save. The same applies to other uh, choices yes until the first choice the next you enter here you you enter your permanent permanent address district and sub county and village here you enter your orevo information you enter here your orevo information yes uh, you put here your orevo index number orevo year of city in case uh, in case they are not retrieved automatically you just click on here where it says i can't find my results so there is there is a provision for you to upload them manually so if you can't find them uh, I've, I've been applying for many people currently i found the challenge is when you find uh you maybe you finished or some years back let's say something like five years and above and for you took some time without applying for HSC so later you joined HSC so you find the system has no your information so what you do you click on this I can't find my result then you enter the manual yes here you enter your bio, your bio data you enter your bio data here you enter your bio data as you can see this of origin bus yeah everything here is simple for you to just select some of them are for selecting you enter your a level results 
here then uh, next of kin information yes uh, then after that you click submit once you click submit and uh, you'll find another button showing you uh, where it, where you need to do what to generate a prn payment reference number yes once you click on generate a uh, payment reference number it will appear on the form yes you can print out that form or you can click on it and save it on your computer and print it out you go with it to the bank and pay to the in the pay for the charges of application once you pay in the bank and you come back and log in the system you will find out that the system has changed the status of payment from pending to paid yes so the system captures your information captures the payment details automatically as long after the bank pays for you the system will capture that information directly so what you need for you is to come back and confirm that the system has changed from status the status of payment has changed from pending to paid that is so important yes yeah, so after paying in the bank you have to come back in the system and check that the system has confirmed your payment by changing the status from pending to paid yes so that is it and uh, for this program of uh, academic program 2021 to 2022 uh, deadline is 15th october i think from today we have uh, around six days so if you are you want to apply to guru please rush and apply yeah you still have a window of six days yeah that's enough time for you to apply yeah so uh if you find this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe like the video yeah then share with your friends yeah and let's meet in the next uh, video yeah i upload uh, educational content every week so be part of the team yeah so let's meet in the next video